This is Chase, and today I'm going to teach you how easy it is to connect Hex with Snowflake. Navigate to app.hex.tech. We're going to hit login with Google. Select your Snowflake email. And now we're logged into Hex. So let's open up a new project. I'm just going to call this test. Create project. And to connect to Snowflake, we're going to head over to Data Connections. Click Add. Create Data Connections. Snowflake. I'm just going to call this test as well. Go to account name and it's going to be everything before the snowflake computing.com. And then for our warehouse, just select the warehouse in the account, select the database in the account for the default database. We're going to click the snowpark integration and we're going to add write back functionality so we can turn snowpark data frames into snowflake tables. We'll create the connection and that's it. We're connected to snowflake. We can add a SQL cell. We can do this by hitting the drop down selecting our connection and then writing SQL. So I can, you can see that it does have autofill. I can do select top 10 star from my database, my schema, my table. I can change the output name of this data frame. And because we are working in hacks, this will actually output our results as a pandas data frame. And so when I run that, that's what we'll get. And then if I want to work with Snowpark, what I need to do is go back over to our data connections, find our test data connection, hit the drop down and say get Snowpark connection. I'm used to it being called session. So rather than editing in the cell, I can do it right here. And when I run this cell, I now have my Snowpark session. So I can hit a Python cell and now I can use Snowpark syntax. And so I'll create a Snowpark data frame. I'll just call it SnowDF. I'll say session.table. I'll use the same day we'll go from before. I'll run this. And now I can do snow df.show. And that's it. You've connected to Snowflake, ran SQL, outputted it as a pandas data frame. We've connected with Snowpark, created a session, and we've now got a Snowpark data frame. Thank you.